You talked a lot about how much field means to you um, and to, to this campaign. Um, can you talk a little bit about some of the lessons you learned from the Prop 8 campaign and how you're sort of altering the field plan based on that? Yeah, I think the biggest one is the importance of starting early. Uh, particularly with local organizing, it takes time to build the infrastructure and to really see the results of uh, field work, but there's nothing more critical. I think uh, giving people an opportunity to get deeply invested in field ownership over the work is what field does. And uh, I think we learned that from um, many campaigns, including California. I think the difference between Maine and California is huge. California is 36 million, Maine is 1 million, and so field goes a lot, a lot farther uh, in a place like Maine, and so I think that's how I would compare the two. Okay. Um, and one thing that was uh, talked about is sort of the generation shift, the, you know, the older you are, the less likely you are to support us. Um, and has there been talk about sort of using or targeting? Older people with like their, their kids. I know during the Obama campaign that had a huge effect. Yeah, we would love to have Take Your Parent to Vote Day <laughs> on in November. So yes, um, you know our biggest ally. Some of our biggest allies are college age students, uh, both in terms of voting with us, but also really feeling the urgency and really making a difference within the campaign day to day. And so we are working with them and having explicit conversations about how do we then talk about this with a different generation, with your parents, because that is how we're going to get people persuaded. It's uh, personal connections, people sharing their stories, and not necessarily strangers at the door. And so that's a huge uh, opportunity for us that we will be pursuing.